whenever you're ready. Anyway, also it's going to be filmed, so it'll be on YouTube and there'll be um, the questions on YouTube as well. But we'll do some videos. Hi everyone. Um, I guess I know all of you, but I'm, I'm Aurelio. Um, I'm from Newcastle, from time, and I study philosophy. Um, and just like a little bit about me, like I came to Jesus first in year 10 um, on an access scheme, and um, that's what sort of got me thinking about applying to Cambridge. And because of this, I came again in year 12 to Jesus on the open day, stayed overnight. Um, so I wouldn't be here really if it weren't for the Ambassadors Program. Um, so I want to start by saying that like, if I was elected, I would want to do everything I can to support the Ambassadors Program. That's really important to me because it's why I'm here. Um, and if you looked at my manifesto, the principle behind a lot of my ideas is if other colleges can do it, then why can't Jesus? So um, you know, some of these ideas are a living wage for all college staff. So right now, Jesus pays the living wage um, for this year, but it's not living wage accredited um, like Queen's is, for example. So that would commit them to increasing the living wage with inflation every year. Um, so if Queen's can do that, then why can't Jesus? Um, Another policy is uh, free sanitary products, so uh, in, the, in the toilets. So I went to Hughes Hall um, for a jazz concert last year, and I went to the toilets in there, and there was free sanitary products, and it kind of surprised me at first. Um, maybe it shouldn't have, actually, but it, it kind of surprised me, and I guess it's just quite a sort of simple thing that college can do, um, but it makes a big difference. So, you know, if Hughes Hall can do that, then why can't we? And then the final thing, fittingly, is um, to have more student involvement in the bar. So it's a brilliant space, but I guess it, it could be better. So if we could use the brewery room maybe one night a week um, and have it run by students, so it's for students, by students. Um, and you know, colleges like Emma and Sydney have student run bars all the time. You know, it's why can't you just do it for one night a week? Um, so overall, like, I guess the job of the JCSU president is to improve life for students. Um, Jesus has the third largest endowment of any college. Um, behind only Trinity and Jones. So, you know, these colleges spend huge amounts on bursaries and activities for students. Jesus does too, but, um, you know, some people, um, for example, with uh, cult language courses, um, have not gone ahead with them because Jesus re reimburses such a small amount. So part of my mission of making Jesus fairer would be to reduce um, the cost of these, especially for students on bursaries, because it can actually sometimes be pretty um, but it's not just learning about learning from other colleges like Queen's or Hughes Hall or uh, Jones or Trinity. It's about Jesus paving the way for itself as well. So we need to address issues of unfairness in college. So um, one example of that is um, fines as a punishment can be like a huge thing for some people, especially poorer students. But if you're a richer student, it might not matter and it might not even seem like a punishment for you. But and as well, um, the kitchen fix charge um, is uh, sort of unfair because if you live in college, it might seem like a great idea, but then if you live outside of colleges and you cook for yourself, and that's often due, due to cost, then that can uh, seem quite unfair as well. So that's something that I'd seek to address, but I recognise that it's quite a difficult process, but I'd want to address that. And I also want Jesus to lead on environmental change. So it's not something that the work ever really finishes on, um, which is why I want to continually pu push for um, divestment from indirect investments and also sustainable reinvestment. So the UK and sort of the wider world and Cambridge as well actually is at the forefront of um, like uh, sustainable developing development in technology. Um, so I think Jesus could be investing in this sort of thing and they could maybe look to invest in sustainable or um, things that improve the environment as a default rather than just seeing it as an add-on that they can do if to sort of keep students happy. And, and so, so to sum up, um, I want Jesus, I really believe that Jesus is the best college in Cambridge. And we see this in the fact that we had the most applications of any Oxbridge college ever last year. And you know, I could quite easily have stood here and sort of promised continuity. And the previous JS, JCSU did a really good job. So I could just say, you know, I want to just do what they did and keep the ship running. But I want to kind of deliver some real change, like on the living wage or on, um, you know, uh, divestment and stuff like that. We've had such a great example last year, and I want to build on that. And we have a chance now, um, if we have confidence that change is possible. I, I would like you to put your confidence in this college, in our new master, and in Burton for me to be your next JCC.